show you how to do a subcutaneous injection on your horse. And just one disclaimer is that you need to make sure that you're working with your veterinarian before injecting anything into your horse ever. Like make sure you talk to your vet. And also there's certain medications that you can and can't put into the muscle, sub-Q or IV. So make sure that you are in contact with your veterinarian before doing any sort of injection whatsoever. Let's get started. So this is the injection that I'm gonna give today. It's only 0.2 cc's or 0.2 milliliters. So it's just 0.2 cc's. This one goes under the skin, so it's subcutaneous. So I'm gonna show you what to do for that. And yeah, so this is just a one milliliter syringe and then it has a half inch, I believe it's 27 gauge needle. So it's like really, really small. So they shouldn't really feel it. So just before we start, I want to make sure that you guys know where to give any sort of injection in the neck, uh, either in the muscle or through the skin, you can do in the neck. There's this triangle here that is safe and there's usually no veins. So what you want to do before, I'm pretty sure that you don't need to do this, but it did say to do it in the directions. I'm not sure if you need to do this, but just use an alcohol wipe before. So what I like to do, I like to draw on my triangle, make sure I'm in the right area. And then um, take your alcohol wipe and just like this. In the area. And then I also like to just do the tips of my fingers just because you're gonna to be touching the area that you just um, cleaned with alcohol. Okay, so what you wanna do is um, pull up the skin. I like to poke him a little bit and like desensitize the area because he is pretty um, sensitive. So what for the injection, what you're gonna do is you're going to get nervous. Okay, so you're gonna uncap your needle, pull up the skin, you're gonna do kind of it at a like 45 degree angle. In, pull back and aspirate, and then just push it, and then hold your thumb over or finger, and it's super easy. You're done. And then I just like to rub it, desensitize. You don't really need to do that. So as you can tell from that injection, it's super, super easy to do, and you can definitely do it at home. Unfortunately, there aren't very many medications that do go subcutaneously, so make sure you talk to your vet before doing anything like that. Thanks for watching. Bye!